God says he suffers not, meaning he allows not a woman to teach. Read on. Nor to usurp authority over the man. So if you're over the congregation, over men, you're going against this scripture. So would you continue to do that? Because you said you're going to be ordained by men to teach over men. But God ordained you as a woman to teach particular things. Not to be over somebody like me, all these men out here. So if we in your congregation, you're going to stand up there and tell us what to do when God says you're not supposed to be the one doing it. Yes. walk you in it when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left that's why we in the street why are everybody turning left and to the right that's why we out here that's what we are obeying read all right you shall defile also the covering of like graven images of you, you should hate it our people should hate what's the image that your church says what's the image that you have you have a cross in your church y'all don't have a cross on your building at all none whatsoever none. all right now when you're a pastor and you're, being, you're going to school or being trained to be a pastor over men, right? Yes. And women and over the whole congregation yes. as well, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that cross, that image that he, was, that he was wearing that he threw away, you have to do the same thing with the fact that you're trying to be a minister over men. Because I asked you a question, if we read it out of the Bible, that you're not supposed to do that. Would you obey it? So we're going to read these laws out of the Bible because that's what we are here to do is to correct our people. Right. Because as one of the officers that was teaching before, the reason why we where we at is because we go against God. Right. So read on. You shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornament of thy mountain images of gold. Read on. Thou shalt cast them away. You should do what? Thou shalt cast them away. That's what you did, bro. You cast it away. Read on. Right. As a mistress cloth. As a woman's right. bloody period pad. That's how God sees the cross. Bring it out. How you doing, my sister? Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. If I had to ask, what's your race? What's your nationality? You say you're black. How old are you if you don't mind me asking? 53. 53. So now, you're 53, and you've never been told that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Bring it my out. sister right here, she's an Israelite from the tribe of Gad, because her, her father and her grandfather, they come from the Blackfoot, right? Blackfoot Native American tribe. And y'all right here, y'all are Judah as well, right? So everybody out here, we the Israelites talking yes, one, one right, right, to right another. Up. That's who we are. We ain't out here to teach every race of people. We want our people to wake up because if we don't, we stay right here. So now, let's deal with that. Let's go to Timothy's. We're going to jump right to it. Timothy's uh, 2 and 12. I think that's what I want. Because I said if we read it out of the Bible, because what he was wearing around your neck is the doctrine that he teaches. The same one that did this to us and put us in slavery. That's where that cross come from. The same people that say, you know what, women now, they can be pastors over men that did not come from God. Right. They came from the same slave master that say, you know what, I'm going to put the woman over the man. Because that's now you have single parent households, and most of the time, who's the single parent with the children? Mothers. And what do our communities turn out to be? Gangs. Right. Prostitutes. Single mothers are not taking care of the house. Not to say, now we're not saying that they can't, but most of the time, because our mothers are misguided, they're right. doing what society, which this so-called white man allows them to do. So in order for a woman to get benefits, the black man can't beat her. So That's she get right. rid of him 
Now all of a sudden she destroys her children because there is no hedge around them. All right? So now we're going to read about you being a pastor and about y'all. You sister right here, you go to church? Yeah. All right. Do y'all have a woman pastor in your church? No. All praise. What church you go to? Community Christian. Community Christian church. What day? What day of church y'all attend? Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. What's the fourth commandment? Out of the ten. Okay. See. Keep this set now. Now we're finna. Now we're finna show you who you are and how this relates to you. That's what we out here doing. That's all we doing is trying to teach our people the proper things that God says for them to do, so we can repent. Read that. First Timothy chapter two, verse twelve. Bring it up. But I suffer not. Verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence. It says, "Let the woman learn in silence." Bring it up. My sister on the phone. I know she on the phone. Satan cometh immediately as soon as we start reading the Bible. <laughs> Read that again. Let the woman learn in silence. So the Bible says, let the woman learn in silence. Read. With all subjection. Uh -huh. But I suffer not a woman to teach. God says he suffers not, meaning he allows not a woman to teach. Read on. Nor to usurp authority uh -huh. over the man. So if you're over the congregation, over men... You're going against this scripture. So would you continue to do that? Because you said you're going to be ordained by men to teach over men. But God ordained you as a woman to teach particular things. Not to be over somebody like me, all these men out here. So if we in your congregation, you're going to stand up there and tell us what to do when God says you're not supposed to be the one doing it. That's right. right. You understand? Let's go to Ezekiel 34, 31. We're going to read some more. We're going to read a little more about this. Got it? Hey. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 31. Oh, and ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. Read. And I am your God, uh -huh. saith the Lord God. So the flock of God's pasture are the men. That's who y'all are. Y'all are supposed to be leading the community. Y'all are supposed to be leading the women and the children, not... Right. The other way around, where women telling us what to do and how we're supposed to move. Right, That's right. not how we're supposed to go. Right. That goes against what God said. Right. You understand that, my sister? And what's your name one more time? Kalia. Kalia. Good deal. So we're going to read that. We're gonna, now let's go to 1 Corinthians 11. And we're going to read that proper order that God set up because that, my brother right here, you go to church? Uh, I used to. Okay, you used to? Okay. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. All praises. So we're going to read something for y'all men right here. Read that. And it's going to go into our sisters being in their proper order and the men being in their proper order. Read that. Three. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the men head is Christ. So the person that's over us is Christ. Read. And the head of the, excuse me. That the head of every man is Christ, uh -huh. and the head of the woman, and the head of the woman is the man. Is the who? Is the man. So not the woman over the man. The man is over the woman. Right, right, right. Whenever, whenever, look, when, when people start robbing and killing our people, all the women gonna start running to the men for protection. Right, right. But right now it's all comfortable right now. That's why all the women are like, you know what, I can be me. I could be a bad B. I can be, uh, uh, what is it, the independent woman. It's because they don't understand what this is saying. Because without this, without this proper order, our women have no protection. Right. Right. Their protection has become the oppressor, which is zero protection. Right. Because now our children are growing up on TikTok videos, and them same women that got children on TikTok videos are now jumping around with the teenagers on TikTok videos. Right. Grandmothers, mo generations are doing this on the internet. You don't see other races doing that. My brother right here, do you see other races of people having a whole three, four generations of women twerking on video on videos on the internet? The only people that do that is us, right? And we think it's entertaining though. You like that kind of stuff, bro? You be watching TikTok the twerk videos, you like that joint? All right, so listen, listen, listen. Look, bro, we out here to help our people. We not here, to, hey, look, we are not out here to bash our people. We want our people to repent. Right. Because if you don't repent, you could be the next brother that gets shot by the police. And then what's your judgment? Help. You don't have you're gonna be condemned forever because right. you never came back to the laws of God. Right. 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 So that's why we out here so we don't want our people to continue to stray off. And then you got the so-called white man killing us left and right, and we don't have nowhere to go. There is no refuge here in this land. Right. Our refuge is in this Bible and amongst each other. Right. Right. All right, read that again from the read the one about the women again. 
But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. Read on. And the head of Christ is God. So God and Christ ain't the same. It's God, Christ, man, woman, children. Now watch this right here, men. Watch this. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. Now we're in the spirit of prophesying now. Y'all are listening to the Bible come out. So we just read the order. Men are over the women. We are to correct the women and we're to lead them. Not lead them into a ditch into death, but to properly protect them, provide, and properly lead them. Right. Right. Not run them in the mud, raping them, having sex with them, and leaving them with children. We're supposed to take care of them. That's right. Right. Because when we don't, we're worse than unbelievers. So this right here says, if we're in the midst of listening to the Bible or praying, read. Every man praying or prophesying, uh -huh. having his head covered. So you men, my man right here, he got the hat on, he got a hat on, he got a hat on, having our heads covered. Read. Dishonoreth his head. So if a man is listening to the Bible and praying with the hat on his head, he dishonors God. Right. So what should that man do with his hat? What we just read. What should you do with your hat? Huh? All praises. He understood it. He took his hat off his head because we're listening and reading to the Bible. So what should you do with your hat too? All praises. You should take it off. You should leave it off, bro. What's wrong with your woolly hair, man? Ain't nothing wrong with your head. Right. Shoot, we always trying to cover it up, and our sister's always trying to change it and perm it and stuff. Right. Our hair is God-like. That's, right. right. That's right. Read on. Every, every, excuse me, but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth. So my sister, whenever you're praying or you're reading your Bible, because I saw you over there, you was reading the Bible. And you, and obviously you say you're going to learn to prophesy, which you need to come and learn with us because who you're learning from is lying to you. Right. They are literally leading you to death. And there is no salvation in that. If you're not going to come and do what God said, what is your judgment? You said it yourself. There is only a heaven and a hell. That's it. So you understand there is only the kingdom or condemnation. You get it. Ain't no middle ground because you said you go to church on the Sabbath and Sunday. You go to one church on the Sabbath that don't do what God said. Then you go to the church on Sunday that don't do what God said. Right. It's confusion. That's why you're going to these multiple places. Because you're trying to, you're trying, obviously you got a zeal for the Lord, but it's misguided because no one's teaching you what the Bible says. Right. That's why we're here. What you got? Read that again. Read the part where you was at. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor his head. But every woman that prayed or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. So our women must cover their heads. You know how we would wear the bonnets, how our sisters would wear the, wear the head wraps and things like that back in the day? That's how y'all are supposed to dress when you pray and the Bible come out. Right. But y'all didn't know that because no one... Now this is the New Testament. This is in the Corinthians. And our women don't do it. Our men don't do it either. Right. We have to be told because no one teaches the Bible. Right, now, right. now we're going to read the judgment for our sisters that continue to say in that to where they want to be pastors. Because we've seen, we've talked to many sister pastors. And you're humble enough to stand here and listen to the Bible. All praises. So now go to Ezekiel 13 and uh, 18. I think that's what it is. So we're going to read about how our women, the Bible describes our women in the Bible, what they were doing in the churches. Yes, ma'am, you got a question? Can you talk to who again? You gonna take somebody? You can take somebody. Right oh, oh, see, so the pastor takes you back. Your, your bishop or your church that want to invite us and say we can come. Okay, here we go. Now listen to this right here. Listen to this right here, sis. You got it? Is that what I want? The pillows? Yeah, let's get it. Here we go. Listen to this right here, sis. Read Ezekiel chapter thirteen and verse eighteen. Get out. And say, thus saith the Lord God. Woe to the woman that sow pillows to all armholes. Now, we said, woe to the women that sow pillows to all armholes. Yeah. Whenever you look at the Christian church, right, and you see our women as pastors, what are they wearing? They usually wearing them big old garments, and they got the thing hanging on their arms. Yeah. That's what we just read. Those women that are pastors that are doing this in the churches, woe to them, destruction to them. Right. Meaning they're going to burn right here. There is no salvation for those women if they continue that way. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. 
yes sir. My auntie is a pastor. Your auntie is a pastor. Do she teach do she teach men and women? Do she run the church? She runs the church, but I don't know exactly what she do, but I know she's a pastor. Okay. If she runs the church and she's teaching and leading over men, that's not what she's supposed to be doing. Right. That's what we just read, am I right? So that's what that's what it says. It's not, I'm not going to clean it up. I'm not going to make it feel good just for your auntie. No, she has to repent and stop or she's going to burn her. There is no salvation for her. Burn, you know. Because do you think we can be saved if we don't do what God says, my sister? No. No. That's clear as day, right? That's clear as day. If we don't do what God says, we're actually showing that we hate God. Right. But our people that go to church on Sunday, do they love God? I do. I don't know about that. Now, now, uh, hold that because we'll come back to that when the to come. Give me what love is. Let's get it. Let's get it because we're gonna we're gonna show. Give me uh first uh John two. I want the one in two about this is how we know we love God. First three. Here we go. Watch this, sis. Watch this, sis. Watch this. I'm gonna deal with you. Watch this, bro. Back here in the back in the red. Come on up, bro. Don't come on up. I got a question for y'all. How do we prove that our people how we love God? How do we know? Like if you used to look at at a, at a, if you used to look at me. Or you used to see me every day, how would you know I love God? By what I say or by what I do? Is it by what I say or what I do? What I do. It has nothing to do with what I say. So all the pastors and them, they can talk all that fur game all they want to. But if they don't do what God says, they're lying. Watch this. And it's going to say that in the Bible. Read that. First John chapter 2 and verse 3. Bring it out. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. The only way we can say we know God is if we do what he says. So if we don't do what God says, we actually do not know God at all. Yes, Read right. on. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. So if you say you know God or you love God, because our people love to say they love the Lord. They know God. They love to say that. But if you say that and don't keep the commandments, read. Is a liar. He is a what? Is a liar. She is a what? Is a liar. That's in the Bible. I have an issue yeah. with that because. You said you have an issue with it. Okay, what yeah, you got? Yeah, I do. Because I didn't always listen to my parents. Yeah. But I love them. So I may not have always done what they said. I may have not always been correct. But it didn't mean that I did not love them. So I can't see that just because I don't keep. All of God, what he say for me to do, don't mean I don't love him, just like I love my parents, but I didn't do everything that they said for me to do. Okay. So there lies my issue. So then we think that the way we think is how God thinks. No. That's what you're saying. What you're saying, the way that you oh. think about it, or us as a people, because you ain't the first one to say that. Right. And look, I'm not I'm not I'm not arguing with you, I'm just letting you know what the Bible says. I, we I Right, we we'll say, you know what? I d I don't hate the Lord. But I'm going to break the Sabbath day. Hello. I don't hate the Lord, but I'm going to commit murder. I'm going to murder my own people. Bring it Mind up. you, your people look like the Lord, but you're going to kill them anyway. Right. So, so the people that love the Lord are, are perfect. That means they're not committing any sin, that they're doing everything according to what the Bible says. No, 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 no. Let's because get that in Proverbs. Let's people. get that in Proverbs. Uh, what is it, Proverbs? Just man falls seven times. 24, 16. Then we're going to go to Hebrews 10, 26. Watch this. Read this. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. That's a, great, that's a great question. I like that question. Read that. For a just man falleth seven times. A just man. Let's see what a just man is. Hold that. Let's go to Romans and get just. Let's see what a just man is. And a just man falleth seven times. So let's see what is considered just in the Bible. Read that. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy. The laws of God is holy. Read. And the commandment holy. The commandments are holy. And just. And what? And just. And what? And just. Uh-huh. And good. So a person that is considered to be a just person keeps God's laws. Right. They are doing everything they can to keep God's laws. They're not deliberately saying, I'm not going to do it. Let's go back. Read that again. For a just man falling seven times. So you're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes is what this is saying. A part of you becoming perfect is the fact that you acknowledge your sin and stop. That's right. That is a part of how you're going to be perfect if you're like, you know what? This is just how I am. You know, this is just me. So you take your sin and you hug it like a pillow and hang on to it Bring because it you up. don't want to let it go. Bro, so some women and men, like, you know, we, we lo look, some of our men love to see the big booty woman shaking her behind. We love to lust after that. Some of our women like to go to the strip club and see the men shake their behind. Bro. 
And then they'll say, you know what, I, I, I just can't go. I can't go without having sex like that. No, I'm just going to hold on to this sin, and the Lord is going to forgive me. That's not what that's saying. Right. That's right. Read, read that again from the top. For a just man falleth seven times read. and riseth up again. And he rise up again, meaning you repent, you stop. But let's see what the other, what the other, the flip side is. Read that. But the wicked. But the wicked. Those of us that's not just, that are cool in our sin. Read. Shall fall into mischief. And to fall into what? Into mischief. Continual sin. Right. You're going to add sin on top of sin, and you're going to make excuses for your sins instead of saying, you know what? That's enough. Enough is enough. I'm done. Now let's go to Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10, 26, because remember, remember that right there, that just man, he's the person that is trying to keep the laws. She is trying to keep the laws with everything she got, and she makes, or he makes a mistake, but she, you know what? I did, I messed up, I got at the spirit, I yelled at, you know, the sister be like, look, I cussed, I yelled at my husband, I, you know, I, I got out of the spirit, I was disrespectful to him. Jeez. So then, instead of us staying that way, because the society is saying it's okay for our women to disrespect their husbands now. Right. That's in society, but you know that, right? Now the women are running the house, but that's not according to God. We just read the order. Burn out. So, but our women don't want to humble down to that. They don't want to humble down. So while they're trying, but look, they'll start to make changes. You'll see that sister, you know what, let me humble down. It's right here. No, when you say it, I'm going to do it. Okay. But then every now and again, she might be like, you know what, no. And then he got to say, you at the spirit. You tripping. You ain't keeping the law. You know what, you right. Let me repent. I'm sorry. And going right back to doing what God said. Right, but right. our people, nah, 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 I'm a bad B. I'm independent. Now they divorce, and now they got children and no father. Bring it out. So read that. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Bring it out. For if we sin willfully. If we sin willfully. Read. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. So we receive the understanding. That's a big fan behind you. That's all. <laughs> so it said, if we sin willfully after we receive the laws of God. So my brothers back here, once you receive the understanding of the Bible and you continue to go against God, read on. There remaineth no sacrifice for sin. Now Christ didn't die for you. That's what the Bible says. Did I make that up or we just read that? So if we just read that, I can't change it. You can't change it. You can't change it. And he can't change it. So we can, all we can do now is either do what God says to show we love him or don't do what he say to show we hate him. Bring it out. That's it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.